What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Male. Let's get straight into it. Women are scared of happily single men. You want to know why? Let's get into it. Okay. Being happily single as a man makes you more appealing. True. Men that don't need to be in a relationship. Men that have high standards. Men that don't chase women. They chase in purpose. This makes women think, wonder if that man is actually interested in them and will in turn, y'all listen to this, increase the value of that man and his expressed interest in their minds. I mean, she's speaking Men, facts. do you ever wonder what women really want from you? If you're a man and you're not protecting and providing for your female, what, what? is it exactly that you're doing? For her, because dealing with your bullcrap, <laughs> dealing with your stupidity, stupid, dealing with the childishness. That's what we're doing. Your answer is loving her. I'm sorry, but she can love herself. Let's hear another take. I I just we usually call those vibrators where I'm from. <laughs> loving yourself. Tell me this just Saturday. My relationship's horrible, and I'm such a great provider. Yeah, but all you're doing is providing stuff. She's not wanting you to provide stuff, although she does like that. She's wanting you to provide you mm -hmm. she wants you she needs you she wants you to secure her in that relationship Facts. not your job not the toys her so which is it because i'm pretty sure that men are being told constantly by women that their worth is based on what they're providing how much money they're making if you want them to give you more emotionally, then we have to make it safe for them to do so and not giving them these mixed messages because it's really confusing. Well, this is why I say to a lot of guys, like, don't open up to a woman completely because when you do, she's going to smell the blood in the water, gents. She's going to smell that like a shark out at sea seeing you flail in the ocean. She's going to go, hmm, I'm going to use his emotional insecurities against him when the time is right and when I need to get the up, when I need to get the up on him or when I need to get him to move in a certain way. She's going to use that. So never completely open up to your girl. This is why you need to have your, your wolf pack or as, as everybody here as we call them, Nick's Nation. This is why we need all you guys here because you can actually open up. Get in the Discord. You can open up. We can talk about things. I'm more than, I'm more than open to helping anybody if they're having an issue you right now get in the discord and we'll chat about it um but tell your problems to other men don't tell your problems to your girl because your girl's gonna weaponize it eventually don't marry anymore because the risk outweighs the benefits there's a risk that comes with marriage that essentially only benefits a woman a man marries you and can only hope that one day you don't wake up and say i feel like i don't love you anymore and i want to leave and you can't do anything about it According to ASA, 70 to 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women. Among college educated women, it jumps to 90 yeah. percent. You know what's crazy? I mean, a lot of us women don't Has have. You got, have you guys ever played Roadblocks? Shots fired! Shots fired! Minecraft, you guys ever played that? Anything a man actually wants that we can bring to the table. It sounds good, I get married. Yeah. So in a few seconds, yeah. you realize this girl. You could tell she has not really been in the red pill manosphere for a while. She's reading off a computer, honey. Those stats, you should just have those ratting off. That's why a lot of women are single. So when you look at yourself, what would you say you need to improve when you're dealing with the opposite gender? Uh, what is it, Jafar? Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! <laughs> nothing. Sure, nothing. I don't think there's any flaws. I don't think really have any nothing flaws. Nothing. Why need to improve? Yes. Probably his timing. What? Your time or his time? His time. What the no, fuck? It's about you though. Oh, you you need, to, need to. Yeah, what do you need to improve? I'm perfect. I don't know. You see how she jumped straight to you? <laughs> that's crazy. But that's why women get burnt out and you're no longer happy in your relationship because you're coming home and a man is sitting on the couch because he's tired from work and you're making sure you're catering to him. So what? So what? Stupid. So what? I don't understand. Where is the value in that? Fellas, do not choose a woman who don't want to be a woman. Do Are you delusional? The modern day women, right there. I'm going to go to work like you. Do you want me to cook, clean? So what? Yes. You're going to cook, clean, do this and do that. And guess what? He taking the trash out. He fixing the house. He making sure this. But we have different duties, functions and responsibilities. My Thanks. wife don't want my duties and I don't want hers. We have different responsibilities. Just because I can see you cook the food and you can't see me clean the gutter you don't even care about that stuff but it still need to be done men have different responsibilities but that's so all this oh i cook and i clean and i yeah that's part of your function Facts. but when your tire is flat my function is to make sure you have a new tire but when your car need an oil change it's my job to make sure these people ain't ripping you off we have different duties and functions and responsibilities 
And see, I think that's where most of the modern women are completely lost nowadays. They have lost the, the, the need and the want, mainly the want, to have duty in a relationship that is in the benefit of a man. A lot of these women out there are solo dolo, I'm independent, don't need a man. Everything they do, want, they want it to benefit them. When in reality, a good relationship, you're gonna do things that benefit your partner. Happy spouse, happy house. But if you're not selfless enough to do those things, how are you expected to ever have a relationship? It's just like a friendship. How are you gonna have a friendship if you're not gonna do things for another person that would make them happy that you might not get anything out of? Like, come on. This is, this is like friendship 101. Do things nice for people that you want to be close to. It's really simple, but modern women, it's all its all take, 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 and no give. There's no give and go. It's sad these days, man. Viral attention for sharing her regrets about ditching the idea of marriage and family. Now, her article in Business Shocker. Insider reads, quote, I'm 38 and single, Ooh. and I recently realized I want a child. I'm terrified. It's too late, boo-boo. <laughs> it's a wrap. 38? You need to hang up the cleats, hang up the bra, you're done. Get back to the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. That I've missed my opportunity. That woman's name is Melissa Persling, and she's reviewing... She missed it like Shaquille O'Neal at the free throw line. She completely whiffed that, airballed it. Fox News Digital, what she thinks caused her current situation. Her, herself. If she says anything but herself, she's stupid. I feel unbelievable. That's what... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm stopping it again, but like, I feel. Oh! <laughs> Stop. You should say, it's. she should have just started the video, goes, it's my fault. In the video, that's what it should have been. Straight by feminism. I was constantly Fox News Digital. Here we go. What she thinks caused her current situation. Herself. Listen. I feel unbelievably betrayed by feminism. I was constantly fed this idea that women can do everything we don't really need men women can women can have the great career and and have the kids that they like and change the tires and do this i mean i grew up thinking and men are great but like i can do all the same things i do feel go, in girl. many ways betrayed by that line of thinking i kind of want to go back to some of those some of those teachers and coaches and and say, what the hell did you mean by that? Because single women keep women single. Misery loves company. Women can't do it all. I, we can't. Y'all don't even have the grip strength to grab like a 40 pound dumbbell. What are you talking about? <laughs> Y'all definitely can't do everything. But the thing is, 30 years ago, everybody knew that. It was common knowledge. Katrina, what are your thoughts on this? Okay, I'm gonna go deep here. So I have a lot of opinion on this, and I really think that feminism okay. in some ways has really sabotaged women's happiness. And the reason I okay. believe that is because we are asked to do all these different things, right? But then our nervous system goes whack. Like I know for myself, I'm in work mode and then mother mode and then family mode right and so your system just completely goes out of whack which is why i truly believe and i found this quote and i thought it was so telling is that the divine feminine is the rawest wildest and most honest mirror a man will ever encounter the awakened man opens his heart and goes to battle he will tame his dragons and face his deepest shadows since he knows that deep within her heart will guide him home. And I think that there is a beautiful balance. Bro, I'm going to keep it a book. What on the H-E double hockey sticks did that quote mean? <laughs> her heart will drive him home. Ladies, just go out there and do your duty. Find a man that you, ex that you accentuate the things that he's inadequate at. Right? Maybe he's not good at cleaning. Maybe he's not good at cooking. Those are the things that usually men don't get really good at. Find a man, and you re you really have two options. Find a man when you're a villager, and you're and you're you're a villager, or he's a villager. Y'all are both peasants, and then y'all build the kingdom together. You're a king and a queen. You share the riches. Yay! You know, yay. Or, or, you go out there and you find a rich guy, and he's gonna buck you and every other girl. Just keep it a buck. It's just, it is what it is. So you either share a man that's a high, that's a high value man, or you go find a man when he's a peasant. Like this whole mumbo jumbo, like this whole quote that she had, this is kind of the reason why women are so confused. Just shoot it to him straight. Cause here's the thing, dude, when you ask a woman what she thinks, she tells you how she feels. But when you ask a man what he feels, 
He tells you what he thinks. Shout out to Charleston White on that one, dude. Between the feminine and the masculine energy. Energy. Honey, we've been doing this you stuff You want to know five. what sucks? Uh-oh. I'll tell you what sucks. What sucks? Shoveling a ton of gravel. That fucking sucks. Yeah, if you got lady the muscles. The time I'm shoveling, all I'm thinking is, who the f*** are the women that want an equal rights? The women's movement. <laughs> who wanted to do the man's work? Because I f***ing didn't. I'd rather be inside making sandwiches and serving iced tea. Fuck this <laughs> bullshit. I don't want She's to too be through. equal. I don't want any part of being equal. <laughs> I will make sandwiches. I will cook dinner. I will wear an apron. I will clean house. I'll vacuum. I'll do whatever I got to do to keep from fucking shoveling rock. And the difference between TikTok is, and Facebook is after I get this shit done, I'm going to get on Facebook and brag about everything I accomplished and how fucking happy I am. But just know the truth. I'm pissed. I'm not happy. It doesn't make me Lady. feel good. That yard work sucks, bro. Ain't nobody trying to do no yard work. I don't even like doing yard work. It's stuff we want to do. It's all the grunt jobs you ladies don't want to do, man. Come on. I can wear pants. I can wear a top that shows most of my body. And I continue to do so because of all the women who fought for that. Women no, have no, the no, right... Walk... Women didn't fight for you to walk around looking like a whore, okay? That's not Based. what they fought for. They fought for your right to vote, their right for your education, the right for you to play a sport. Jesus. Feminism or low gas prices? Um, I guess low gas prices. Look at, look at this right. La Toxica. You gotta love it. Because ever since the feminist movement, it's been a lot harder for me to find a guy to pay my bills. And all of a sudden, I have to work and I have to do all these things. And I honestly don't want to work. I would rather stay in the kitchen. Mind you, I need some cooking classes, but I think I could take See, a couple... See, here's the cooking classes thing. This is what... Dude, he's going to town on this bone. He's absolutely going to town on this bone. Um, here's the thing that grinds my gears. These ladies want men that are masculine, that provide, protect, but they can't even cook. What are you talking about? You want to be feminine, you can't even cook. Nobody taught you how to suck wiener, but you sure did figure it out. <laughs> Go learn how to make a dang sandwich. That's what I don't get, dude. I'm going to need some cooking classes. No, you need to be working on that now. That's like asking for a job and not having the prerequisites. Okay, let's go ahead and look at your resume here. Okay, you have no work experience. You have none of the necessary skills to get this job. Um, hmm, you've done none of the prerequisite work to even meet the minimum requirements for this job, but you want the job and you think you deserve the job. Hmm, okay. Yeah, you don't, you're not qualified. That's exactly what it is when it comes to being a wife. First of all, you gotta be, you gotta be at least a girlfriend, and then you gotta be a fiance, and then you gotta be a wife, and then hopefully you can be a mother. This is why I say men, when you're vetting these women, you need to be thinking that, you need to begin with the end in mind. Can I see her being the mother of my children? And if it's a no, she belongs to the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. Let her go back into the world and have fun doing that. Let her get her cheeks clapped out there. You don't wanna be the one wifing up the hoe, dude. You do not want to do that. Don't wife, don't wife up the town bike. But this is what's so funny to me, is these women go out there and expect a man to come in and sweep them off their feet and provide everything from a masculine perspective, be, you know, fit, tall, have money, charisma, in great shape, confident, competent. They want all this. They want him to fit that traditional masculine role. But these women can't even cook. <laughs> Can't even cook a basic meal. Like, I bet if I asked a lot of these girls, like, hey, I want you to make me bacon, eggs, and toast, that would be an uphill battle for them. Especially if I was like, I want them over medium. Like, if a woman can't make an over medium egg, like, come on, honey. Just stop it. Cooking classes and make somebody really happy. Matter. This is what happens. You think, oh, it's fine. They just might not open the door for us because of all the raging feminists. But you can't act out. That form Society does change. Trash. Does Sticking her butt like that is so bad for your back. Change their behavior. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, women end up in a really bad situation. Like, she can't get anybody to help her up. And she's just, Those dudes aren't checking. She just sat in that squat. You put way too much weight on the rack. Like, her form's already bad. Like, bro, if you can't just put, like, 25 pounds on there and actually have good form, you shouldn't even be lifting this heavy. Like, I lift three, four days a week, and I never lift this heavy. I, her leg's got to be dying. Just fall. Fall backwards. Why are you even on that? Just fall. <laughs> 
but she she's just waiting. Where's the men at? She didn't want to ask for help. She's like, where's the men at? Like, come on, honey. Stop. So dumb. Why is it that modern feminism uh -oh. just promotes this idea that absolutely nothing is a woman's fault ever? Mm. Even in her own life, her own choice. It's not your Love fault. It. It's not your fault. It's men. It's all men. And I get these comments all the time saying like, oh, you're shaming women because they got abused or you're shaming women because they got, you know, hurt by a man or whatever. You're shaming them like it's their fault. First of all, no, I'm not. It's not your fault that a man is evil and abusive. Okay, that's not your fault. You're not responsible for that. But you are responsible for yourself and the positions that you put yourself in. And me personally, if I was consistently choosing these absolute garbage men to date, marry, whatever it is, that are consistently abusing me, I think it's fair that you should self-reflect. Like, you can sit there all day long and go, men are horrible, men are trash, men are this. Okay, but is that helping you? Is that serving that, you? That and here's the thing, honey. You picked him. Shots fired! Shots fired! These men are trash, but you're spreading your legs for this trash man. He's a trash man. Why are you spreading your legs for a guy that's uh, uh, apparently trash? It makes no sense to me. All oh, the guys are bad. He's trash. He's garbage. He's toxic. He's a womanizer. He's a misogynist. But you picked him. That's what's so funny when I see these women talk about like their baby daddies. Well, my baby daddy, he ain't worth a damn. He ain't da da da. But you picked him. You literally cracked your legs open like a walnut for this man. <laughs> cracked him straight open. Like, like walnuts at Christmas, like a nutcracker. You cracked those legs straight open. <laughs> but you want us to feel bad for you. You spit out an entire human from a man that was trash. And you want us to come in and pick up the pieces? Play that saved game? Bro, come on now. It's like, it's like, it's like getting a, it's like playing somebody else's saved game halfway through. Playing Red Dead Revolver, and then they hand you the sticks at 50%, and you're like, I don't know the buttons, I don't even know the lore, I don't know the storyline, I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. But they're like, good luck. And then most of the time you don't even get to the end. You, you get like, you get to play like 50 to 75% until she gets to, to another man or she just monkey branches onto somebody else. But this girl's based. You. Is that mindset getting you anywhere? No. So instead, why don't you take a little responsibility, self-reflect and like evaluate that. why is it that I keep choosing these horrible people and then correct that. And do better. Well, I always say, gents, life is a mirror, not a window. If you're unhappy with where you're at, go to your bathroom, look yourself in the mirror, and that's the problem. You. The common denominator in all your life's problems is you. And see, that's where women, mm, they seem to miss it because they want the equality of men, they want the accountability of children, and they want the privilege of being a woman. That's what they want. They want, they want the trifecta. But it doesn't happen that way. It never happens that way. And it's so funny to me, these women, as they get older, and you guys may even know people, let me know in the comments, let me know in the comments. Are there some women that you know you may, maybe went to high school with, maybe you went to college with, and they post on social media, where are all the good men? I just need a man to meet me at my level. I need a man to be more alpha than me. I'm just an alpha woman. <laughs> and they're alone. <laughs> I love it. I go watch it. It's pure comedy to me. I see it. They're going through like these manic episodes. I'm like, oh my God. Lord, honey, you were going through it. Talking about their rosters. I'm like, man, you were literally pr like telling everybody you're getting ran through. She's a runner. She's a track star. And you're proud of that? The thing is, ladies, women are marketers and men are salesmen. If you're unhappy with what men are buying from you, aka sex, situationships, stop marketing it. Stop selling your body. A lot of these women lead with a sexual energy and lead with a sexual vibe or a sexual aesthetic. Stop it. Be more modest. Be more feminine. Be quieter. Stop being so loud. Stop interrupting men. Stop being so masculine. And I almost biggity bet you a guy will meet you or hear you talk and be like, oh, wow, I want to hear her out. It's just so funny to me. Like, modern women are really freaking out right now. And, I, and I'm seeing them. There's a lot of people I went to school with. I see them on social media talking about, I'm just ready for a guy to really step up and meet me where I'm at. You mean step down and meet you where you're at? Shots fired! Shots fired! It's gonna be a step up. It's gonna be a step down. <laughs>
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. The Four Steps to Style also is an ebook down there. This book has literally everything you would need to know from A to Z on how to, first of all, get the right haircut, get the right glasses, find the right clothes to wear. Like, it's a holy grail. Everything. You will never need another book. The Four Steps of Style is going to be great. I've spent a lot of time putting that together. There's a bunch of style guides in there. Thank me later. Um, become a member if you really enjoy the content so you can watch older videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have fun? I think he had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.